when I came out of the MTC, I was, um, I don't know. I was, I don't know if strict is a word, but I was very hard nosed, super focused. And, you know, I kind of grew up in a family that, you know, neither one of my parents were active in the church. Um, and I, I didn't really understand uh, what missionaries actually did. I had my own concept of what missionaries did, but I, I'd never really been around missionaries. And so I had this notion that missionaries were serious 100% of the time, all the time, every day. And so I kind of came out of the missionary, the MTC kind of that way. And, you know, I remember just thinking to myself that, you know, we'd be in the MTC and, you know, we'd be getting ready to go to bed or something like that. And one of my companions would, you know, say something funny or make a, a wisecrack. And I mean, it, it wasn't anything inappropriate, but, you know, it was funny. But I remember thinking to myself, you know, missionaries don't laugh. We're, we're, this is serious. You know, this is, we're on the Lord's errand. We, we don't laugh ever, you know, and that's so inappropriate. And, uh, and a lot of the times, you know, and I would get offended when people would laugh, you know, or, um, you know, kind of be a little bit more lighthearted. And I remember, uh, going with my companion and the first night there, I thought he was the worst missionary ever. I was just, I cannot believe I got stuck with the missionary. He was just as horrible as he was. Um, but it, it was something, again, another one of those life lessons, um, that, uh, I'm like forever, you know, forever, uh, eternally grateful to my, uh, my trainer, my first companion. Um, cause he, he taught me how to work very hard, you know, and work as hard as you can and get out there and do the work, but also enjoy doing it, you know, and understanding this, uh, concept, um, the kind of a broader application of that, um, being that, you know, ultimately what is the whole purpose of our religion? You know, why do we go to the temple? Why do we go to church? Why do we read our scriptures? You know, and I, I used to kind of take the standpoint of these are checklists, things that I need to do. I need to get this done in order to go on a mission, to go into the temple, you know, you know, to uh, eventually receive, you know, be exalted. I have to do all these things, you know, almost like a checklist. Um, whereas, you know, the whole point of our religion is for us to be, to enjoy ourselves and to be happy. Ultimately, the commandments we have and um, the rules that, that are in place aren't here to just make our life miserable or anything like that. It's, uh, it's so that we are happy, you know, and it was something that my mission and especially being with my first companion really taught me how to do, um, how to, uh, understand that, you know, the whole purpose of our religion is to, uh, enjoy ourselves and, um, to, to do these things for, you know, so that we're happy. And ultimately that's why we, you know, even go on missions, you know, it's, um, we, we go on missions, we, we go to church, we go to the temple, we do all these things that we do in the church, um, because it makes our lives better and it makes us ultimately happier. Um, and so that was something that I, uh, again, will always be eternally grateful to my, uh, my trainer for helping me understand, uh, how to enjoy, um, not only enjoy, you know, do enjoyable things on our mission and, you know, have fun in doing that, but finding joy within the work that we're doing, you know, and understanding why it was fun to proselyte and to talk to individuals and not make it such a burdensome activity, you know, that I, oh, like I have to go out and talk to people or I have to talk to so many people uh, and, and, and all these investigators or so forth, but to understand the, the purpose of you know, it's also to enjoy it, you know, and to enjoy speaking. And as you enjoy missionary work, obviously you're going to do it more and you'll be more engaged. Um, and the investigators and the people you speak to, obviously they, they can sense it. They, they feel it and they know, um, the difference. They, they can feel that difference when someone who is thoroughly enjoying what they're doing, um, and thor thoroughly understanding and believing the message that they give, um, to them. You know, they, they feel that as they speak with them.